Tonight at 6, Riverfest is back and we'll tell you what they're offering this year. Good evening, Heather will join us in just a moment. Riverfest began in 1983, but like so many big events, it did not happen last year, and this year, of course, it's back. And News 19's Riley Kine spent some time today in Riverside Park, where Riverfest organizers explained, Riley, what they're most anticipating and what everyone else can expect. I talked with Riverfest organizers this morning to learn about the changes they had to make this year and what they are most excited about. They say it is vital to have a celebration like Riverfest and it provides something everyone wants in their life, a sense of togetherness with their friends, family and community. Organizers say when it came to planning this year, they had to keep safety in mind. They got rid of the fencing that typically surrounds Riverfest to provide more space. Along with that, they say it was difficult to find food vendors that wanted to set up in the tent area. So instead, they are doing food trucks with picnic tables in between people can sit at. With the COVID restrictions earlier in the year when we started planning laying it out, um, we made the decision to remove all fencing and uh, open things up so that it was a much more open environment for people to come down, much more user friendly, grab some food, grab a beverage, grab a soda and uh, partake in fest with us. They say their hope is that everyone spends some time enjoying Riverfest this year. Riley, thanks very much. Riverfest opens tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday at 11 o'clock.